hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we will dive into the world of aws messaging services which is your uh, sns and uh, sqa so in this session uh, we will look at uh, top 10 interview questions that you can expect as part of your sns service as well as your sqa service so here uh, i'll be covering five interview questions for sns and then five interview questions for um, uh, sqs now, whether you are preparing for an AWS interview or you're just eager to expand your uh, AWS knowledge, then you are in the right place. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button. So we'll first start off with your SNS service. So uh, start kicking this off with the basic question, which is AWS SNS. So SNS, it stands for your simple notification service. And uh, this is your messaging service that you have in AWS. Now, this is a fully managed service so you don't have to do anything you just have to like create the topics add your subscribers and you can start sending out the notifications now this service it enables you to uh, send notifications and helps you to decouple your microservice applications or any distributed system applications or any serverless applications you have so if you want to um, remove the dependency uh, between multiple components you can make use of this service for that especially if you want to send out notifications like an email notification or a, a text notification we can make use of this service for that so this allows the sending of your messages uh, it could be your email notifications or notifications to a distributed set of subscribers so here subscribers will be your um, end users uh, for example uh, who should be receiving the notification so we can make use of this service to um, simply send out notifications it could be your email notifications or your text notifications to multiple people moving on to the next question how does sns differ from sqs so sns and sqs both are your uh, messaging services but what's the difference between them so sns it follows your push mechanism so here we push the message to your subscribers to your end user so here it follows your push mechanism so the messages are pushed to your subscribers whereas your sqs it follows your pull mechanism so your consumers or your end users will need to pull the message from the sqs so sqs is more like a queue where we uh, keep our messages and then we'll need the consumers to uh, pull the message from this uh, queue so that's the main difference you have sns it follows your push mechanism and sqs follows your pull mechanism um, in addition to that your sns also supports multiple protocols so we can uh, send notifications over http or https emails or um, other uh, uh, protocols which makes it suitable for various use cases so we can send out an email notification we can send out a text notification or notifications over http or https your sns supports that sqs does not support that so the consumers will need to pull the message that's where it follows your uh, pull mechanism the next question we have is what are topics in um, sns so uh, topics are basically your uh, group of subscribers who should be receiving the notification so whenever we talk about your sns service we begin with creating your uh, topic so here you can see there are some example topics that i have created so it's user defined so you can give whatever uh, name you want so here let's say for example you have your uh, um, uh, support team right so you can give a name for that so it's user defined whatever you want you can um, uh, give the name and then you can start adding the people who should be part of that topic so topics these are your communication channels for which messages can be sent so if i want to send out a notification to let's say all the uh, customer support team so i can make use of that particular topic to send out the notification so once we are done creating these uh, topics we will be adding your subscribers so once again subscribers are nothing but these are your users who should be receiving the notification so for example here you can see i have one subscribers likewise you can add your subscribers and these are the different different protocols we have so it supports your email http https and different different options if it's your email you'll need to give the email and when you click on this create subscription an invite will be sent uh, to that particular email address and only when you accept that email 
uh the the uh, user will be able to receive the notifications all right so those are your subscribers so subscribers which are your endpoints or other aw services subscribe to topics to receive the message published to them so um if you want someone to receive the notifications for a particular topic you will need to add them as a subscriber to that uh, topic right uh, the next question we have is how does sns handle message delivery to multiple subscribers how can we send uh, the message to multiple people so sns like i said it follows your publish or subscribe model all right so it's a push model and uh, we will need to add people to the topics in order for them to receive the notification so whenever a message is published for example here if i go and click on this um, publish message and i fill these details what happens is uh, sns will deliver this message to all the subscribers uh, who are part of that particular topic so in my case for this particular topic who are all the subscribers i have um, sns will deliver a, a copy of the message so each subscriber will receive a copy of that particular message and that is how your sns delivers uh, messages messages to multiple subscribers of a particular topic so whenever we uh, publish a message to a topic sns will um, uh, send out a copy of that message to all the subscribers who have uh, subscribed to that particular topic moving on to the next question what is the significance of message attributes in um, sns now message attributes are simply used uh, to add your metadata so whenever we are uh, publishing any message we have the option of adding your message attributes now these are simply your additional information any metadata that you want to add for that particular message we can make use of your attributes for that now these can be useful uh, whenever you want to filter your messages based on these attributes during subscription so this ensures that the messages are only sent to the interested subscriber so you know like you can think of it as avoiding any spam emails and you're sending the emails only to the e interested uh, subscribers you can filter your uh, messages whenever you are uh, publishing your message to your subscriber so your attributes these are simply your metadata so that's about the five question we have for your sns service next we we'll look at uh, five interview questions for your sqs service so again we'll begin with the first very basic question which is your uh, what is aws sqs so sqs it stands for a uh, simple queue service and it's a queue service where we can queue our messages so again this is a fully managed service provided by aws which enables the decoupling of your application so if you want to uh, remove the dependency between two applications we can make use of your sqs service for that all right so it allows messages to be sent between different parts of a distributed system so this is also a messaging service but unlike your sns this is your uh, this follows your pull mechanism meaning we will have a queue um, a producer will produce a message push it to the queue and then we'll have a consumer which needs to pull that message from the queue to process that message right so it mainly uh, uh, helps you to um, remove the uh, dependency between your applications moving on to the next question what are the different types of queues that are available in sqs so we have two types of queues uh, when we talk about your sqs we have the standard queues and then we have the fifo queues so standard queues is your uh, default one so here if i um, go to the sqs service so let's go to the sqs service and um, let's for example i'll click on create queue so here you can see you have the standard queue and you have the fifo queue by default your standard queue is uh, selected but you also have the option of using your fifo queue which is your first in first out now, what's the difference between these two your standard queue it offers you a best effort ordering however there's no guarantee that your messages will be processed in the same order meaning let's say your messages are received in the order one two three four there's no guarantee that the messages will be processed in the same order okay however it tries to uh, process your message in 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 the right order 
whereas your fifo it gives you a guaranteed ordering um, uh, of your message processing so if your order of message is one two three four five the processing will also be in the same order so that's your first in first out um, uh, queue all right so these are the two types of queues you have and these are the differences that you have between these two queues the next question we have is how does sqs handle message uh, visibility now uh, message visibility so we have something known as visibility timeout in sqs that can be used to hide the message whenever a, a message is picked up by a consumer so after a message has been sent uh, to a queue so let's say for example here we have a message and then a consumer picks that message from the queue now once a consumer picks up that message the message will become invisible for other consumers all right and for this we can define a duration which is your visibility timeout so how long do you want this uh, message to be hidden from other users how long do you want this message to be invisible so this period of how long the message will be invisible we can define that by making use of your visibility timeout now provided the message gets processed within the visibility timeout the message will be deleted from the queue if not it will become visible once again so that some other consumer can pick it so that's how we can handle the visibility of your messages so again here when you are creating your queue you have the option of defining your visibility timeout default is 30 seconds but it can be anywhere between 0 seconds to 12 hours maximum is 12 hours the next question we have is what is long polling in uh, sqs now when we talk about polling in sqs we have two types we have the short polling and then we have the long polling now long polling is essentially a mechanism wherein uh, the queue uh, whenever a consumer connects to the queue the consumer will wait for a message to arrive in an empty queue so you know uh, let's say a consumer connects to this queue and there are no messages all right now we can by making use of this long polling we can uh, force the consumers to wait for um uh, you know for a message to uh, be available in this queue so that they can start processing it now um, instead of going with the short polling for your messages the consumer will hold the connection open until a message is available or a timeout occurs so uh, two things one uh, once a message arrives the consumer will pick it and start processing it or you can set a timeout as to how long the consumer will have to wait before closing the connection so this way uh, you will end up saving money so again under this what we do is the consumer will connect to the queue and then wait for the message to be available or wait for the timeout to occur the next question we have is how can you scale sqs to handle increased uh, message throughput so there are a few options that we can use to handle this so we can scale your sqs um, either by increasing your number of queues so having multiple queues or by using aws sdks to parallelize the sending and receiving of your messages so you know uh, having uh, multiple um, uh, commands to uh, running multiple commands in parallel to send uh, the messages and to receive the messages uh, additionally we can also make use of your sns service to fan out messages to multiple sqs queues so basically here suggestion is to uh, make use of multiple queues um, uh, to to handle your uh, message throughput to uh, make sure you're not losing out on your messages so that's about the uh, interview questions uh, i have now that's your rapid fire exploration of uh, aws sns and sqs interview questions whether you're getting up for an interview or just expanding your aws knowledge i hope you found this uh, video insightful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more aws insights and hit that bell icon to uh, stay in the loop drop your aws questions or topics in the uh, comment section until next time, happy learning.